today I've got some pretty exciting movie news for you guys and it is for the recent casting of Emma Stone who is playing Cruella de Vil in a new live action movie from Disney. Now they had released an image from the movie on Saturday so when I saw it I thought oh my gosh when I first heard that there was a rumor that Emma Stone was going to play her I just couldn't believe it because I was thinking hmm she's a little bit too young though I have grown up watching a more a, an older version of Cruella de Vil that I'm thinking well this time it is an origin story for this character and it's no surprise because Emma Stone playing her she definitely plays this new role where it's a very different look than what you're used to seeing. This movie right off the bat is set during the 1970s and obviously in that decade there was this time of fashion was very uh, avant-garde. As far as influences go, you're really seeing this more punk rock look. And especially when this movie has been filming in London, you know that there are a lot of iconic figures during that time. Right away, I see uh, Susie Sue, who was this lead singer of a band during the 1970s through the 90s called Susie and the Banshees and she definitely in Emma Stone I feel like looks exactly like her though and it obviously fits very well because of how she is dressed and even the makeup and also I'd have to say uh, Tim Curry from Rocky Horror Picture Show also comes to mind. You really see that sort of persona, like an alternate ego persona coming through, and especially at such a young age. I even would like to mention Madonna. Even though uh, I looked up images of her from the 70s, she was more, you know, clean cut there, and then it sort of transferred over into the 80s but you get the idea that she definitely had this sort of out there look to her and also another actress that comes to mind is Helena Bonham Carter and I know a lot of people are also going to be comparing her uh, to this character because obviously we've seen her uh, you know play these wild and zany characters like Bellatrix Lestrange but even though she can look really creepy and evil she can also downplay it and play this more elegant figure like she's going to be in the crown season three as princess margaret and we've also seen her in the king's speech but i think with emma stone playing her i'm really impressed with the fact that she's taking on this role because we know how sort of diverse she is with uh her fashion choices and she could really pull off this either sleek look or this more edgy uh, rocker chick look that's very fashionable. But there are many other icons of fashion that I would like to mention. David Bowie, who played Ziggy Stardust, another uh, icon from London, England. And uh, another fashion icon, I would have to say, that seems very influential, especially in more modern times, is Lady Gaga. I mean, she definitely uh, came off, like she started off, uh, her fashion was very out there, and then she slowly started to transform herself into this more sleek, clean cut look. And I feel like I've seen that before, even with uh, Glenn Close playing the previous Cruella de Vil and of course like she's the most iconic actress to play her and also uh, among these actresses being Oscar nominees or winners in general I feel like I mean who could possibly top Glenn Close so we'll see if Emma Stone can really play off this character and even morph into the role where she's actually going to wear 
the fur coat and do something with all of those Dalmatians. But then if you haven't been familiar, I'm a huge fan of the Once Upon a Time series, which had ended after season seven, but they had featured another actress playing Corella Deville, Victoria Smurfit, and I think she definitely pulled off the role down to a T. I would have to say on par, almost on par with Glenn Close. So I think she's another actress to mention playing this character, and I would definitely love to see Emma Stone eventually get into this type of look and role even though it's set in the 70s and you know it's getting really different but the live action uh, 101 Dalmatians was uh, it came out in the 90s so uh, compared to the original animated Disney classic uh, I think obviously a lot of time has changed so it's very interesting that they're going back to this era of the 1970s London punk rock fashion uh, age. And it will be really cool to see where this origin story uh, goes from there. Now other actors uh, that I'd like to mention that are also featured in this picture, Jasper and Horace, who are being played by Joel, uh, Joel Fry, who was seen in Game of Thrones. I think it's really cool that they're having uh, some maybe not so well-known actors playing the roles, but if you have seen some of these movies or TV shows, you're very familiar with them. And even Paul Walter Hauser, who was last seen in Black Klansman and I, Tanya. And I, Tanya is directed by Craig Gillespie, who is also taking on this movie, so there's no surprise uh, that Paul Walter Hauser is in this movie and this movie speaking of which is being released in 2021 on May 28th so we've got some time to really uh, absorb everything about this movie and see like how truly excited are we to see this movie because I mean we know what happens when you know Disney makes movies now about uh, their villains because we've got the Maleficent movies and now we have a movie about Cruella de Vil. So we'll see how much uh, this transforms and if everybody's looking forward to seeing it and if they are excited. So I don't know, I mean, I'm kind of interested to learning more about it, but I'll definitely wait until a trailer comes out to really judge uh, the movie and hopefully see more images of Emma Stone playing this character. So let me know in the comments what you guys think of Emma Stone playing Cruella DeVille. Are you excited to see her in this role or were you hoping to have somebody else be cast? Or would you have not wanted to see this movie being made at all? Let me know. And as always, you guys can subscribe to my channel. I've got more movie reviews, movie updates, coming every week for a Child Thursday video. You guys can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And I'll see you guys later.